Now this is another interesting question. It says, in the diagram, zero is the center of the circle. Zero is the center of the circle. That means this point is the center of the circle. The line XW is the diameter. That's what it means. Okay. Now, if WX is parallel to YZ, WX, this line WX, let's just put it like this. WX is parallel to YZ. Okay. If WX is parallel to YZ and the angle WXY equals to 50 degrees, that's WXY, this angle here equals to 50 degrees, find the value of the angle WYZ, that's WYZ, okay, just follow the pattern WYZ, so the Y in between, you mark it off, okay, so this is what we have to find, WYZ, alright, and also find y is it so the angle y is it let's mark this like this y is it let me let me bring this let's make it clear so this is y is it so these angles this one and this one are the angles we have to find so let's do it very fast so here we could just write 9b one this should be one not two this should be one okay now to find the angle WYZ, now let's do it like this, this is 50 degrees here, okay, we have 50 degrees here, that's WXY equals to 50 degrees, now we don't know what this angle is, but this angle here, we can calculate this angle, can find this angle by saying, now if you remember, if you have a circle like this, you remember from circle geometry, if you have a circle like this, pardon me, just, just accept my circle like this. Now, if you have a circle like this, let's say we have the diameter of the circle like this. All right, this is the diameter. So the center of the circle is at this point. Now, if we have a triangle inside the circle like this, let's take this triangle like this. Okay. Now, this is a triangle inside the circle, and there's an angle here. Okay. Okay, the angle here is always 90 degrees. So the angle in a semicircle is always 90 degrees. So this angle here is 90 degrees. All right? Okay. So let's clean this. You understand this concept. So, so apply the same concept here. You notice that the triangle WXY is inside a semicircle. You see, it starts from the diameter of the circle, goes like this, and comes like this, and touches the circumference of the circle at Y. So you see, the angle at this junction is going to be 90 degrees. So we could just write it out, 90 degrees. So we could write it out as X, Y, W equals to 90 degrees. That's angles, angles in a semicircle angles in a semicircle okay now from here we can also calculate the angle x w y because this is 50 this is 90 degrees by the time we add these two angles subtracted from 180 we would get this missing angle x w y you remember also that when you have two straight lines like this when you have two straight lines like this let me just explain before we start solving so you understand the concept. You have two parallel lines like this, okay? When you have two parallel lines like this, and you have a straight line in between both of them like that. Now, the angle formed here and the angle formed here are called alternate angles. Any two parallel lines that have a straight line between both of them like this, okay? The angle formed between the two parallel lines are called alternate angles. So we we'll apply the same principle, and these angles are always equal. So let's apply the same principle here. Let's apply the same principle here. Let me clean this first. We are told that if WX is parallel to YZ, so WX, the line WX is parallel to the line YZ, and we have a straight line WY, which touches Y and W at this point. So you see that we have an angle here. And we have an angle here. So these two angles are called alternate angles. So if we can find the angle XWY, the angle XWY will be equal to the angle WYZ, which is going to be alternate angle. So let's find this angle XWY. So for the angle XWY, we're saying WXY, let's sum the angles in the triangle, plus the XWY, Plus the last angle, which is x, y, w, x, y, w, which equals to 180 degrees. So this is sum of 
angles of a triangle okay sum of angles of a triangle so what we'll do here is we'll just represent w x y with 50 degrees so you have 50 degrees then x w y x w y which is unknown you can see right x w y okay plus x y w that's x y w which is 90 degrees which is 180 degrees so 50 plus 90 that gives us 140 so you have x w y plus 140 degrees equals 180 degrees so here we could just subtract 140 from both sides when we subtract 140 from both sides we would have 180 degrees minus 140 degrees so x w y equals 40 degrees so we see the angle x w y here equals 40 degrees so you recall that x w y equals to the angle wyz so you have wyz that's the angle wyz which is 40 degrees this is because we just said the angle xwy is an alternate angle with the angle wyz you recall so you just write alternate alternate angles alternate angles so from here we could just write out that the angle W Y Z equals 40 degrees and that's the answer for the first question now for the second question for the second question we are asked to find Y E Z that is Y E Z now to find Y E Z this is this is a bit straightforward also what we'll do here is you know we have the angle at this point as 40 degrees okay now we can find the angle at this junction here let, let me make that clear we can find the angle at this junction here we can add these two together and subtract from 180 then find the angle at this point so by the time we get the angle at this point we can easily get this angle so let's say we have a circle like this and we have something like this something like this we also have something like this and also something like this okay so let's say this is a point so this is point a b c now the angle formed at the center this this point here is the center of the circle this point here is the center of the circle so this point here let, let's call it let's call it for example the angle there is a and let's call the angle here as b so we know from circle geometry that the angle formed at the center of a circle equals to two times the angle at the circumference of the circle this is the angle at the circumference that means the angle a equals to two times the angle of b okay so we would apply the same principle here if you notice in this circle we have the angle we have o w y z almost the same thing as this okay you see o is the center o is the center here we have w and z like a and c okay then this point b is just like y here so we we'll apply the same principle that the angle at the center which is a here equals to two times the angle at the circumference to b so this is this principle from this is a, this is a, this is a theorem from circle geometry so we we'll apply this here also that the angle at the center w o z is equal to two times the angle at the circumference which is w y z so let's let's apply the same principle here So apply the same principle here. So what we'll do here is we'll find this angle here. Since we have this place as 40 degrees now, since we have this angle WYZ as 40 degrees, we'll just say WOZ that's WOZ equals to two times WYZ. Okay, that is angle at circumference. Uh, conference keep it like that equals to two times angle at center of a circle so it's good to put all these statements down like this okay so we could just write that w o z equals to two times w y z that's w y z which is 40 degrees so w o z equals to 80 degrees so now we have our angle 
w o z as 80 degrees so since we have this as 40 that's the angle at this at w here as 40 we have the angle at o here as as, as 80 degrees so we could just add up the two angles plus the angle at this point so we'll have the angle w o z plus the angle e w o that's e w o the angle w here and also the angle o e w that's o e w the angle here equals 180 degrees this is sum of angles in a triangle okay so w o z which we have as 80 degrees plus e w o which we have as 40 degrees plus this o e w which is unknown so you just write o e w which is 180 degrees so by the time we sum this up we'll have 80 plus 40 as 120 degrees plus o e w which equals 180 degrees so we could do something very cool here we could just say o e w equals 180 degrees minus 120 degrees and by the time we subtract this we would have 60 degrees so o e w equals 60 degrees so since o e w the angle here since the angle here equals to 60 degrees we would recall that from the concept of vertical angles when you have a straight line like this and another straight line like this okay now the angle formed here and the angle formed here are always equal to each other they are called this is called vertical angles okay the two angles are always equal so we'll apply the same concept we'll apply the same concept here again so you see here we have this angle as, as 60 degrees now so can is it this is a straight line w y and this is a straight line o z okay so since they cross themselves like this we could just take the angle at this point e and the angle at this point e also to be equal because they have vertical angles so we could just say therefore let's check it therefore the angle o e w equals to the angle y e z so let's write the angle o e w equals to the angle y e z which is equal to 60 degrees so you could just write the statement vertical angles vertical angles okay so the question says we should find y e z so therefore y e z equals to 60 degrees